Hi, I'm Betty. Welcome to my kitchen. As you can see, we're having our first snowfall of the winter, if you don't count the October blizzard. So it seems like a perfect morning to have homemade blueberry pancakes for breakfast. I know it's easy to grab the box off the supermarket shelf, but with just a little effort, homemade ones are truly worth these few minutes. So I have here a cup of flour, I have a, a bowl with two teaspoons of sugar, a half teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. I have a large egg that I've beaten a little bit, and my recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. Buttermilk is not an ingredient I always have in my refrigerator, so I use this uh, buttermilk powder, which works just as well. It's uh, four tablespoons uh, equals a cup of buttermilk. So obviously a, a quarter teaspoon for each quarter cup. I also want um, a quarter cup of milk. So to make up the difference in the liquid uh, of the buttermilk, I'm using a full cup of milk. And this is skim milk, which, which is just fine. So we add our ingredients. and the buttermilk powder. It needs to stick a little bit. And just give those a stir. I also want to mention uh, the baking powder. I'm using a baking powder that has no aluminum in it. It was a revelation to me not too long ago that many baking powders do contain aluminum. And I find it, by using this, you, there is a difference in the taste, which I think you'll enjoy. All right, I've got these ingredients mixed. I'm going to give this egg another little whisk here. Add it to my milk. I'll give that a little stir. and add to the dry ingredients. And we'll just stir this until it's fairly well mixed. And just before it's combined, I'm going to add two tablespoons of my melted butter. that a quick stir. And we're ready to go to the stove. I've preheated my griddle and I'm going to just grease it lightly with the remainder of my melted butter. You can hear it's nice and hot. Which is why you want to use a silicone spatula so that you don't burn up a bristle uh, spatula. I like to use a quarter cup measure for my pancakes. And we'll just scoop these right out. and add some of these blueberries, which I've washed and dried, right on top. Get the one that got away. You'll know that these are ready to turn when you start seeing uh, bubbles appear on the top. These are about ready to turn, and we'll just give them a flip. There. Let them cook for a minute or two on the second side. I've 
had my plates warming in the oven, and as I cook these, I'll place them back in the warm oven, which is at 150 degrees, to keep them warm while I cook the rest. Let's give these a check. They look perfectly done. I'll put these in the oven where I've got my serving plates warming also. And I'll continue cooking the rest of these pancakes. The pancakes are cooked. The table is set. Some orange juice, some hot coffee, some warm Vermont maple syrup. What a way to spend a snowy morning. Or any morning, really. Visit my website for the recipe and other recipes.